The push-pull tool is designed to make manually adding or subtracting portions of 3D objects intuitive and fast. You can use this tool to interactively extrude planar geometry and turn simple shapes and objects into a more complex 3D model. The push-pull tool can be found in the 3D modeling toolset. There are three tool modes available with this tool. The first mode, Extrude Face, will allow you to select a planar face of a solid object and add or subtract volume to it by creating perpendicular faces. You can also use this mode to extrude a 2D planar object or planar NURBS curve. To use this mode, click on the push-pull tool from the 3D modeling toolset and select Extrude Face mode from the toolbar. Now click on the desired face or planar object. If you need to select the back faces of the solid, you can press and hold the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Macintosh while selecting. The cursor should then change to a double-sided arrow. You can move the cursor to expand or decrease the volume of the object. Click again to set the distance. You can also specify the distance of the protrusion or cutout by entering a value in the floating data bar. The second mode, Move Face Mode, is similar to the Extrude Face Mode in that it will extend the face of a solid. However, this mode will also extrude the surrounding faces or adjacent geometry as the selected face moves. Select Move Face Mode from the toolbar. Now click on the desired face. Move the cursor to extend the face. Notice in the preview that with this mode, all geometry that exists on the selected face will also be moved. Click again to finish editing the solid. Subface mode allows you to select a curve or group of curves to add or subtract volume from the solid object. In other words, it will give you the ability to define the protrusion or cutout based on the existing face and the curve geometry that you have drawn. This mode will only work with NURBS curves or groups of NURBS curves. To use this mode, select the subface mode from the toolbar. Now select the NURBS curve or group of curves. You will see them highlight in red. Once they are selected, click on the solid and it will highlight in red. When the NURBS curve is coplanar with the solid face and it splits the face, each split section of the face can be moved independently. Move the cursor over one of the sections and the face will highlight in red. Now click on the face and move your cursor to increase or decrease the volume. With the push-pull tool, you have the ability to interactively reshape solid objects and create complex models with just a few clicks.